I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about 4G networks and overview. This topic is present in the subject wireless networks. Let's discuss about 4G networks and overview. Now, the term 4G stands for fourth generation and it refers to mobile network technology that enables 4G compatible phones to connect to the internet faster than ever before. In the UK, 4G launched in 2012. Right now, the number of smartphone users who use 4G is draft by its forerunner 3G. Meaning of G in 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. G in 2G, 3G and 4G stands for the generation of the mobile network. Today, mobile operators have started offering 4G services in the country. A higher number before the G means more power to send out and receive more information and therefore the ability to achieve a higher efficiency through the wireless network. 4G networks much in the same way as 3G but simply faster using high-speed download and upload packets, 4G allows you to access broadband style speeds whilst away from your Wi-Fi. 4G is entirely IP based, which means it uses internet protocols even for voice data. Let us see the meaning of IP based network. An internet protocol based network, that is an IP network, is a group of hosts that share a common physical connection and that use internet protocol for network layer communication. The IP addresses in an IP network are contiguous, that is one address follows right after the other with no gaps. Let us see the data rate speed of 4G. 4G offers maximum real world download speeds up 60 Mbps that is megabits per second making it over 20 times faster than 3G. Theoretical maximum 4G speeds are significantly higher at 300 Mbps, although such speeds are only achievable in controlled laboratory environments. Now let's see 4G LTE. 4G LTE is a type of 4G technology. LTE stands for long term evolution and is not as much a technology as it is the path followed to achieve 4G speeds. 4G LTE is about 10 times faster than the older 3G technology. So the difference in speed is often quite noticeable when users switch from 4G to 4G LTE. See the difference between 3G and 4G with the help of a small comparison. This is a comparison. We have taken four types of parameters. First, we take peak upload rate parameter. For 3G, it is 5 megabits per second, but for 4G, it is 500 megabits per second. Let's see the switching technique parameter. For 3G, it uses circuit switching and packet switching. 4G uses packet switching and message switching. Let's see the third parameter, network architecture. In 3G, we use wide area cell based architecture. 
in 4G we use LAN that is local area network and wide area network architecture. Let's see the fourth parameter that is applications and services. The 3G offers CDMS 2000 Edge UMTS. 4G offers LTE Advance and WiMAX 2. Let us see the evolution of wireless technology with a small animation. Here is animation. In this animation, we have 1G. It starts around 1981. 2G it starts around 1992. 3G 2001. 4G 2010. 5G 2015. And the speed of 1G is kbps. 2G is also kbps, 3G is mbps, 4G is mbps, 5G is around gbps that is gigabits per second. The shape of the phones when we are used in 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G is indicated in this animation. Let us see the another representation of 1G, 2G, 3G and 4G with the help of a small analogy. In this analogy, just imagine that a human is started running. 1G represents that human is preparing for running. The speed of the 1G is around 2.4 kbps. That is 1G is in the initial stage. Now consider 2G. The speed of the 2G is 64 kbps. The human is now started running. Now consider 3G. The speed of the 3G is 2000 kbps. That is 2 mbps. The human is running now. Now the speed of the 4G is 100,000 kbps. That is 10 mbps the human is fastly moving that is fastly running this is indicated in the animation data rate speed of 2g 3g and 4g with a small comparison in terms of download speed capacity this is a representation the 2g Average speed is 125 kbps, that is 125 kilobits per second. The download speed of 2G network, that is for downloading 1.4 MB data, it takes 90 seconds. Similarly, for downloading 3 minute MP3 file, that is of 4 MB capacity, 2G network takes 2 minutes. 16 seconds and for downloading 3 minute web video that is of 10 MB capacity 2G networks take 10 minutes 40 seconds now we discuss about average speed of 3G the average speed of 3G is 800 kilobits per second for downloading 1.4 MB data, 3G network takes 14 seconds. And for downloading 3 minute MP3 file of 4 MB capacity, 3G network take 40 seconds. And for downloading 3 minute web video, which is of 10 MB capacity, this 3G network takes 1 minute 40 seconds. This is the details for 3G. Now let's see about 4G. The average speed of 4G is 1.5 megabits per second. Okay. The download of 1.4 MB capacity data, 4G networks take 7 seconds itself. Similarly, for downloading 
3 minute mp3 file video of 4 mb capacity this 4g networks take 21 seconds this is very small when compared to 2g and 3g similarly for downloading 3 minute web web video of 10 mb capacity this 4g networks take 53 seconds this is the comparison of 2g 3g 4g in terms of downloading data let us see about what is data rate the data rate is a term to denote the transmission speed or the number of bits per second transferred the useful data rate for the user is usually less than the actual data rate transported on the network in data communication the data rate is often expressed in bytes per second let us see about switching switching a supplied to networking and IT is the practice of directing a signal or data element towards a particular hardware destination switching may be applied in various formats and it can function in diverse ways within a greater network infrastructure Let's see switching techniques switched communication networks are those in which data transferred from source to destination is routed between various intermediate nodes switching is the technique by which nodes control or switch data to transmit it between specific points on a network the types of switching are circuit switching packet switching and message switching Let's see about the circuit switching circuit switching is the most familiar technique used to build a communications network it is used for ordinary telephone calls it allows communications equipment and circuits to be shared among users when a call is made from one telephone to another switches within the telephone exchanges create a continuous wire circuit between the two telephones for as long as the call lasts let us see packet switching packet switching is connectionless that means a dynamic route is decided for each packet while transmission the internet uses ip that is internet protocol which is a packet switching protocol the internet uses packet switching technique message switching message switching is a network switching technique in which data is routed in its entirety from the source node to the destination node in one hop at a time during message routing every intermediate switch in the network stores the whole message see first generation network 1g refers to the first generation of wireless cellular technology that is mobile telecommunications these are the analog telecommunication standards that were introduced in the 1980s and continued until being replaced by 2G digital telecommunications a small representation of 1G mobile phones the first generation standards used plain DDMA and FDMA these systems could often be listened by third parties some of the standards are NMT, AMPS, HICAP, CDPD, Mobitex, DataTAC, TAX, and ETAX. Second generation network. 
2G is short for second generation cellular network. It is designed in the 1980s. 2G cellular networks were commercially launched on the GSM standard in Finland by Radio Linja, now part of ELISA OG in 1991. Three primary benefits of 2G networks over their predecessors were phone conversations were digitally encrypted. This is the representation of the 2G phones which were used earlier during 1990s. It is still used mainly for voice applications but were based on digital technology including digital signal processing techniques. The 2G systems provided circuit switched data communication services at a low speed. All the standards belonging to this generation standards are GSM, IDEN, DAMS, ISA 95, PDC, CSD, PHS, GPRS, HSCSD and Wireless DEN. Let's discuss about third generation network. 3G, short for third generation, is the third generation of the wireless mobile telecommunications technology. It is the upgrade for 2.5G and 2.5G GPRS networks. 3G networks do not use the same radio frequencies as 2G. So, Mobile operators must build entirely new networks and license entirely new frequencies, especially so as to achieve high data transmission rates. The representation of the 3G mobile phones, which were started using during the early 2010 onwards. To meet the growing demands in network capacity, rates required for high-speed data transfer and multimedia applications, 3G standards started evolving. The systems in this standard are essentially a linear enhancement of 2G systems. They are based on two parallel backbone infrastructures, one consisting of circuit switched nodes and one of packet oriented nodes. There are many 3G technologies as WCDMA, CDMA 2000, UMTS, DECT, WiMAX. It is the fourth generation network. 4G is defined as the fourth generation of mobile technology which follows the 2G and 3G networks that came before it. It is also sometimes referred to as 4G LTE, but this is not technically correct as LTE is only a single type of 4G. Let us see the representation of 4G mobile phones. 3G may not be sufficient to meet needs of future high performance applications like multimedia, full motion video, wireless teleconferencing. Multiple standards for 3G make it difficult to roam and interoperate access networks. A requirement of a single broadband network with high data rates which integrates wireless LANs, Bluetooth, cellular networks, etc. Fourth generation networks representation with a small diagram. This is the representation of 4G. This 4G integrates fixed networks, WPANs, WLANs, cellular systems like 2G, 3G or 4G, broadcast or satellite communication. Let us see what is 4G magic. Mobile multimedia. Anytime, anywhere, 
global mobility support integrated wireless solutions customized personal service from these words we have coined a new term magic that is the first letters of each characteristics represents the term magic in 4g thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means you can share this video to your friends